hear that? Like arc synth? Yeah. You hear that too? Like you hear like arc synthesizer and stuff like that. And you know what? Like, I always felt like I was in competition with people that had better equipment than me. You know? So, I used to just, and I still do, do things to compete. You know what I mean? Right. And maybe even just have people like, when you, when you play a beat, Cause like I got stuff that I do recently nowadays, and cats ask me, yo, like, yo, what you using? I told him, yo, I'm still using the same thing. Like, get out of here. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it, it's just about being creative. You know what I mean? The the keyboards, the sampling drum machines, the banks of sounds, the programs they got out there right now is just like immaculate. But let me tell you something. Like like for those um those banks of sounds, those kits that they sell and everything. There was somebody who sat there and took time, like especially for the drums, right. to like chat. Yeah, they sat and they found them them sounds. So I'm saying we gotta take the time to do that too. Like that's that probably is the reason why a lot of the beats we hear that's coming out, a lot of them all sound the same because we all using the same kits, uh, the same kits, the same banks, sounds and stuff like that. When you sit down and you take that extra time, you go that extra mile to search for your for um some individual type sounds that nobody else is using, you kind of can end up like setting your setting yourself apart. Kind of upset right now because I see um, one half of a joint that's not loading up. I wanted to um. Yeah, but that's what that's 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 what we gotta do. You know what I mean? You gotta It's it yo, it's it's um <laughs> it, it's I call it friendly competition. Like for every producer I heard in here tonight, and it started with Guap. He had me over here like Thank you, brother. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I had ugly ugly Expressions and right. stuff on my face, but like I heard his beats. I said, mm hmm, all right. I gotta go home, I gotta do some shit, <laughs> knock that out of the box. <laughs> no, no, seriously, that's what hip hop is about. Like, no, no, it's no disrespect to him, and he could understand that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, probably a beat he heard here tonight. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Moby, he got some shit. Yeah. <laughs> His beat will be so crazy. That's what hip hop is about. I don't think we should lose that. I always like to call it a friendly competition, but if somebody asks me what's the definition of hip hop, to me, hip hop is I'm better than you. Mm. Not in a beef. I want to. Uh, you want to fight? Right, right. Start a beef kind of way, but. That's what hip hop is about. It's about challenging each other and pushing each other to the next level. Cause I heard beats in here tonight. I was like, ooh, right, right, right. my game up. Right. And y'all look at me like Easy Mo B, but I heard joints in here tonight that I was like, ooh, that was crazy. So that's what hip hop is about. It's about challenging each other and us pushing each other to the to you know to be better. You know, and um. There's a lot of great stuff out there right now, but there's a lot of similar stuff out there, cookie cutter stuff too. You know what I mean? A lot of people doing a lot of the, the same things. <laughs> but it's people like y'all that was in this room, that, that all of the different flavors of stuff that I heard, y'all gonna be the ones that's gonna help push this thing to the next phase of where it's supposed to get. So that's, you know, that's what hip hop is about. In the era that I came up in, that's that's what it was intended for. Well, you know speak, what I mean? speaking on that, who did you feel like you was competing back then with? What producers? Back then, <laughs> my competition would have been Molly Mall. I mean, when I first first started out, Molly Mall, the Bomb Squad. Oh man, Eric Sherman. He was in EPMD, but he was a hell of a producer. He was just throwing them out there. Oh, right, right. oh, every time you turn around. Yeah, so 
like I said, it's about challenging each other and, and pushing each other to that next level to be better, to be funkier. Um, as far as um, the uh, um, hip hop goes right now, and I hope it's okay for me to call it black music. I always consider hip hop to be black music. If hip hop is black music, then I think one thing I think. Oh, there goes something. That's low enough. All right. If hip hop is gonna be black music, then hip hop has always been com been comprised of the funk, the soul, the blues. Hey, Quap, tonight you heard elements of gospel in his beats. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If this is gonna be hip hop, and hip hop is black music. We got to keep the elements of it there. A lot of the music is becoming less, uh, I mean more and more, less and less soulful. You know, I, I just got to keep it 100, man, you know, I mean. We got to know our history, man, it's important, it's important. It's important to keep that soul, that funk, you know, that blues, it's got to be in there, man.